Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite creepypasta character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and it's appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, plop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. <sighs> who goes there? Listener, what are you d doing here? You know you're not supposed to be here in Slender's Woods, or else he'll find you. <laughs> Did your friends force you to be here? No? Is it just you? I see. Then, what are you doing in Slender's Woods? Excuse me? You came to see me? Why... Me? I don't remember dates nowadays. I've been in here for I don't know how long. What? It's February 14th. Oh. Hold on. I know it means something. What is it? Oh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, fuck. I think I should get out more often. <laughs> well, thank you for telling me that. But, what do you... What? You choose me to be your Valentine's? <laughs> Sweetie, do you think I'm Valentine's material? Because there's nothing romantic about me. Why choose me? I mean, you got good-looking guys in school, and they have pretty faces, they don't have some rind flesh on their face, and they don't suffer ticks like I do. What I'm trying to say is that they're considered normal. And I'm not normal. I work for him. And I do take my job very seriously. Why me out of all people? Huh? Because we've been friends for Ever since. I see. Even though I don't go to school anymore because of my ticks. But I just can't believe you would choose me over all those guys from school. You got me something. What did you get me? <laughs> your, 
You're serious, are you? <laughs> it's a waffle shape. A heart, or a heart shape. Waffle. <laughs> it's really sweet of you, sweetie. But I don't think I want to eat it. It's a masterpiece. I don't want to ruin it or crush it or snap it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh huh. You want to kiss me? Uh, are you sure? Because I don't want you to be freaked out over my left side of my face. You won't be. Are you really sure? Because I don't want to gross you out. So you're really sure? <sighs> Her up, Buttercup. In my life. <laughs> no. C Clockwork has never been my love. You are. She'll never be. <laughs> Who told you that? That <sighs> masky. That dumbass. Don't listen to Masky. He just wants to make you hate me because he doesn't like our forbidden love. If Slender Man finds out, he'll come after you and kill me all because I'm his right hand man. I'm speaking the truth. Clockwork and I. We were never a thing. Why? Be because I... I... I love you. I said it. I love you, listener. I know my life has been through hell when I lost my sister when my I killed my dad who's such a drunken fuck I thought Slenderman would help me to guide the way but ever since I joined I went to hell I had no other choice but to just join him. Thought my life would be okay, but it's not. You're the only happiness I have found. Of course I mean it. You're the only normal girl that never picked on me. Never picked on my dicks and treat me like I'm one of you. Yeah, you don't 
you know, treat me so easily or poorly. You treated me like I was human. <laughs> Even though I, I am human, but people don't see someone like me like human. They see me as a, a monster. Or a... <sighs> you know what I mean. Yeah. The R word. Yeah. I hear someone c coming. You have to leave now. I promise I'll visit you. Oh, I know where you live. <laughs> now go. <sighs> Bye. Sneaking up on me like that. Can't leave me alone. Masky. <laughs> you do know I'm still gonna tell Slendy about all of your secret relationships with a non proxy. But don't worry. I'm still keeping that secret of yours. But not for long. Because wait until Slendy finds where she lives. Maybe send Jeff over there. Or... The Rake. No! Anything but those fuckers! I know what Slendy would do if he finds out that I'm... In a relationship with... Oh. You have such a soft spot for this girl. <laughs> she must feel so bad for you. But don't worry. I'll still keep that secret. Now, you got some unfinished business to do, Toby. You gotta bury some bodies because of a certain smiling dog. Okay. Let's go, Masky. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to tell Slendy about 